Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. Spirit has a message for all of us, so let's get right into it and see what Spirit has to say. And we have self-believing and beyond. So let's read the message. Castles in the sky, dreams can hang in the balance, sometimes dangling on barely by a thread. Or you may find yourself grasping at wisps of visions in the busy intersections of expectation. You may become frustrated when nothing, or only very little, appears to be happening. Although time may have dashed your hopes or rerouted a few prayers, nothing is lost. What is needed now is to keep your sights set on the goodness within you and around you. Keep believing in the beauty and truth of your heart's desire. Only then will you be carried on the winds of hope and faith. So it's time to surrender. You have put it out to the universe. The universe knows what it is that you need, that you want, but you've got to understand your own energy is either a barrier or a receptacle. And now is the time to just really surrender and let the winds carry you where they will because they are leading you to, actually I'll put that here, they are leading you to the destination that you need to land to come into what you desire. There's a deeper message here, so let's uh, let's pull some more cards and go deeper. Shining star, it's time for you to take front and center stage. Is it fear that holds you back? Are you unwilling to invest in yourself, to believe in yourself and what you are able to achieve, to accomplish? Do you feel as though it's life that's holding you back? Because this is spirit saying you're meant to shine, you're meant to stand out, you're meant to come into great achievement and reward. All right, so know that you are a shining star and let nothing or no one hold you back from your destiny, not even yourself. This is not a time to think low thoughts. This is a time to build yourself up bigger and more than ever before. You are the best at what you do. You are creative. You are unique. Nobody can do it like you. Even if everybody in this world has your same talent, they can't do it like you. Something about the way you do it makes it special, makes it different, makes it unique. And we'll put that front and center because Spirit's saying it's time for you to come front and center, soul searching. It's time to go within and uncover your true feelings. Okay, so for some of you, what's not manifesting, what's not happening is because it's not truly in alignment to the core desire inside of you, whether that's positive or negative, the core belief of I'm unworthy, I will never be able to have, okay? And that could definitely be standing in your way for some of you. What is it that you believe deep, deep in your soul? And are you trying to ask for something that's not really in alignment to who and what you are? So it's time to go within. And in that place of going within, you truly surrender your energy and your expectations. And you come into different wisdom, different insight. All right, now look at this. We have Supernova. An aspect of your personality, ego self, must die to make way for a new shiny star to be born. Wow, you got the shining star right there. It's time for transformation. There is something in your consciousness that holds you back. You may view, now that we've got all three of these cards out, you may view that it's life that has set you back. It may be different experiences and circumstances that you've gone through that has created that core belief inside of you. Okay, but Spirit's saying 
that could be rewritten. It's time to believe and believe big. Bigger than ever before. You have something in you. It's time to get it out. And I love this. This is card 17 in the tarot. Number 17 is the star card, which is hope, which is wish fulfillment. But you've got to go within. Something in consciousness needs to shift, needs to change. Okay, so your mind is busy. You really do go back and forth um, between belief and disbelief. Well, what about this? What about that? And Spirit says you, you can't um, be all over the place mentally, emotionally like that. Like, you need to pick and decide and just go, okay? High Priestess, see, time to go within and do some soul searching, strength, You, it's going to take some strength uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually to overcome, to shift, but look at what it brings, it brings this, the Nine of Pentacles, and more about going within and being on a solitude journey, look at that, Will of Fortune, so some of you may feel very lonely on your own, alone, and there's great purpose in a, in a solitude journey, all right? And uh, I am currently in process of creating my own Oracle deck to finally sell to all of you, and um, I have a card just like that about the importance of the solitude journey, and I feel it's coming forth for you. When you are alone and on your own, that is the only time you truly, truly, truly discover who you are. When you are entangled in, you know, a relationship or multiple relationships, friends, family, romance, whatever, your energy is entangled with others, okay? So a part of them is always with you, you know, birds of a feather flock together. The three people you're around the most are the three people you're most like, right? Uh, like energy attracts like energy and so when when you are you know entangled in a lot of different relationships you can lose sight of who you are and so in that in that instance spirit will pull you back and you go on a solitude journey and the solitude journey is for you to truly discover you your energy your likes your dislikes and that goes back to this message of something that you're reaching for once you truly know who you are, you might not want anything that you're asking for right now. A lot of that might shift and change. And Spirit is saying, instead of pushing against this process, surrender, go within, flow within the process, because that's when your wisdom activates. That's when all of your experience transforms into strength and wisdom. And you surrender and it allows everything to shift and to turn for you because there is abundance. There is goodness. Look at that nine of pentacles right under the shining star. Actually, I'm going to pull some of these. Expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Ooh, see, spirit is really bringing up the ego. And, you know, our ego serves us very, very well. But in this case, it's like ego is in the way, telling you things that are not true, like lower vibrational things, or it's like there's too much entanglement from other people's energy. Uh, and that's really uh, tainted 
ego and that's what you're reaching for when that's not in alignment with your soul and you see those butterflies you got the butterfly right there also talking about that ego energy and signs instincts are the messages from the inner divine and solitude journey or going within is going to allow you to open your psychic eyes and ears to see the different signs and synchronicities around us. You know, when we see like an angel number or something that is meaningful to us and it means a good thing and we're excited, then we pay attention. But it's like all the red flags, you know, that spirit throws up for us around certain experiences or relationships we just ignore. And going within, you're going to see all the signs that have been put before you. Liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that that they're you. Sorry, let me go through that again. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. So, okay, liberation. Again, all of those thoughts, all of those entangled energies that you think are you, but they're really not. And your path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Wow, see, it's just like spirit is popping off just one card after another with the same message of what is going on inside of you, inside your mind, inside your heart. Do you even know? Or is there too many other energies all tangled up within you for you to find center, for you to find balance, for you to remember who you are, you know, what you stand for, what you believe in, what you want, your life purpose? Because here it is. It's like you are ready to ripen. You're ready to bloom. But there's something in consciousness that really holds you back. And that's what Spirit's bringing your attention to today. Because it's time for you to transform into the butterfly. All right? I mean, this is just a very beautiful reading. Let's pull some more cards. intention back and forth okay so sometimes you are in that really high vibrational space about yourself and your potential and then you waver and it's like you kind of been teetering back and forth back and forth back and forth and I also feel for some of you there is like this influence of other people that causes that so if you're not on a solitude journey this is a message to Really pull your energy back. Just try for like a week. I mean, if you're married, you have kids, you, you know, you live with other people, it's not as easy to be in your own space, right? But do the best you can, you know, in the time that you do have for yourself, really push everything out. Do some meditation. Sit with a crystal. Ask spirit to activate your heart. Activate your soul. Be intentional about it. Do it multiple, multiple days in a row and you'll notice the energy starting to shift, starting to shift for you. Okay. And look at that. It's energy and courage. The courage to believe in you. And you know what, guys? I have to tell you, uh, working to open my own shop as well as creating my very own Oracle deck that I will sell, like that's my intention. It's the scariest thing I've ever faced. Um, it's just, it's scary. But you know what? It's time for me to transition to the next level of my journey. And it's, it holds true for you as well. It's time to transition. And yes, it's scary. Yes, it's unfamiliar. Yes, it's unknown. But it's filled with rewards for you. And people, the loving woman. All right. This is an energy where you are very giving. You're very compassionate. You care. You're there for others. It's time to give that energy to yourself entirely. Okay, it's like you've got to know your own love, your own touch, your own energy to know the worth of it, right? 
Spirit wants to teach you who you really are, show you you in a way that you have never seen, perceived ever before. All right, we have the world with a card behind it that jumped out. All right, the Eight of Pentacles just worked, uh, jumped out. It's going to take some work. Anything worth doing is going to take some work. So let's see. Yes, look at that. You have done some work, absolutely. And you've built a foundation. And there's a completion coming for you. It's time to transform. It's time to be in the spotlight or have an achievement or bloom, blossom, something along those lines. To a pedic how how appropriate is that? Look at spirits just bringing it home back and forth, back and forth. You've got to decide and just stick with it no matter what. Yes, it, because your courage is going to lead you to the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. Look at that. Knowing who you are, you're going to realize there is so much more to you than you've given yourself credit for. And you bring a lot and you do a lot and you need to know that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we're going to take, oh, we're going to take all three of these. Actually, all four because I feel that uh, they all apply. But just the first one that came out, anchoring the light. Right? That's deciding and pulling that down no matter what. No matter challenge, setback, nothing. All right? And it says, the light is always within me. Yes, it is. You're, you need to anchor the light and hold the space and see cultivating courage we've got that right in any given moment i always know exactly what to do your soul does right you're never truly lost there is always light within you the light of your soul embodying my soul surrendering soul searching going within solitude journey i have a right to be excited this solitude journey this going within it's going to reignite things that have been lost from you depths of happiness depths of joy depths of passion and excitement and healing heartbreak my heart will love again yes it will if that's what you choose yes it will but if you're like love sucks love hurts me then no, you close off. But if you're like, you know what? No, it's not love that sucks. It's not love that hurt me. It's this person with this name that hurt me. It's that person with that name that hurt me. That's where the pain came from, not from love. Love is the very thing that's going to heal me, that's going to bring me back to life. All right, so very empowering message from spirit. Let no challenge, no person, no setback, no nothing steal your destiny and allow yourself to go within and to surrender to allow that shifting of consciousness so that you, you can transform and emerge as something new. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.